Marty, you made your point. It's not bad, but it would be better if the sun was out, but we don't have any control over that. No, we really <laughs> honestly don't. And the weather forecast is, again, you've been doing the weather all morning long. You know, not only are we talking about more rain in the forecast now that we were talking about yesterday mm -hmm. and even windier conditions, now we're talking about a downgrade in temperatures moving through the first two or three days of next week. It looks yeah. like we'd have a quick turnaround. Just really not the case. I'm not going to go so far as, say, nor'easter-like, but the mere fact that we could discuss this, me, you, Tim, everybody, mere fact we could even say that word leads you to understand, well, just how problematic our weather could end up being. 63 Coggiesville now, 61 Middle River, 63 Glen Burnie, 62 Ellicott City, 63 in Columbia. All these numbers are going to get up to about 68 to 70 degrees this day as we move through the afternoon, though, that easterly flow is going to keep us in cloudy conditions, though we're not going to discount the fact we could get a little bit of brightening. But let's just get into the meat of the story. What we've got right now still is high pressure governing our weather. But look, here's that easterly flow from the high, and there's low pressure out to the ocean, counterclockwise rotation. We continue an easterly flow. So we're starting to block the Atlantic coast. Therein lay the problem, because look out to the west. Here comes that big slug of energy trying to move our way. Um, just imagine a football game. It's a running play trying to break through the offense and the defense. There's a block right here between that high and that low. So now you've got low pressure diving out of the four corners. It's gathering moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. The slower it moves, the more moisture it grabs. This low will eventually end up to our northwest, but transfers energy offshore to a secondary, now coastal low. That's why we could talk about, you know, second cousin to a nor'easter. Futurecast starts midnight tonight. By tomorrow morning, we're seeing some rain. And during the commute, maybe rain heavy at times. We continue rain in the forecast through the entire day, even in the evening as it tries to lift. It's never quite going to be successful. Look at it blossom again. Now here comes that energy transfer off the coast. You saw it right there. And even though Saturday morning looks like, well, it may not be all that half bad. Nope. Here you go. Watch moisture continue to blossom with a strong easterly flow, and I don't think that's even going to abate through Mother's Day. Overnight tonight, temperatures really not all that bad. 55 TV Hill, 50 Bel Air, 55 Annapolis, 52 Westminster. We'll take a look at the seven-day forecast, though, and there have been some changes.